Hello there, warm welcome to Toe to Toe Extra. Very pleased to say that this week we are joined by three belt world champion. We've got two of them here, Natasha Jonas. Tash, great to see you. Cheers, thank you. And your trainer, Joe Gallagher, distinguished uh, trainer as well. Joe, welcome along. Cheers, thanks, Ed. We're going to talk about the potential uh, matchups, aren't we, Tash, now? Let's talk about Clarissa Shields first and foremost, who you said you weren't getting on with very much, but you are on, on better terms now. She congratulated you for the win over the care. Yeah, yeah, she's... Um... She had to give me a few nice comments. What do you make of this then against Savannah Marshall? How impressive was it? Yeah, the first four rounds was probably some... I actually didn't think she'd be able to keep this type of pace up. But, you know, Sav is getting out of the way of a few. But you can see, you know, she's not renowned for her power. But she's, she's fast, she's quick. She's, you know, she's putting them shots in. You know, I think she felt a bit disrespected by people saying she's not a big knockout artist. And so she was putting it in in the rounds. But... You can see she is getting caught, and but she's taking them as well. And we all know what happens when Sav lands, and she, she took some of Sav's best shots. You're known for your speed. How would you circumnavigate her, her speed and, and range? Yeah, well, she's, 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 she is fast and is explosive, but she's, she, she does just stand there as well. Mm. She's quite set in her, in her feet, and she's trying... And I don't know if that was because she was trying to prove a point and, and stay there and, and land the shots on Savannah. What's your take, Joe, when you look at this in terms of avenues of attack or opportunities? Chris was very good on the back foot. I've seen it when she fought Maria de Care. She handled the pressure. She handled the pressure of Savannah. She rolls out of shots. She's got a bit of Philly shoulder roll going on as well, May Mayweather-esque. And um, she can hit and she hits hard with both hands. Not like people say hit and she puts people out, but she does hit and she does get people respect and people's attention. And I'm a huge Clarissa fan. She's a very good fighter. And physically coming down to one five four for her, Tash, we know that she's obviously done it before to, to great success, but does it become more difficult, do you feel, for her to, to do that? Would you have a slight advantage there? Um, not necessarily, not, not more than any other. Um, she's made the weight before, you know, and, and she can do it. You know, she's not a particularly big 160 either, but, you know, yeah, wait, I don't think weight will be an issue thing for either of us. OK, well, let's talk about Katie Taylor, who you've, you've met before. How exciting is the prospect of a rematch? Yeah, I, I mean, it's always great to get some defend, uh, revenge. Sorry, I, I, I think, like I said, I did start slow, which is something that I have improved on in, in the last three fights at least. But you can see some of the success here. Did this give you belief, even in, even in a defeat? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, I came out and, you know, my jab was good in this in this fight. It doesn't look like here, but it was. <laughs> um, body shots were really good, and that was the first time I'd ever really, you know, aimed to go to the body with such intent, and, and I had to. I had to be better in this fight and prove that I could be. How do you think both fighters have changed, Joe? Because you're confident, aren't you, in the rematch? Yeah, I think, that, like anything, when you become a world champion, you improve that little bit. Katie Taylor's been at the top of the hill for an awful long time, doing great for boxing in Ireland, the whole world. And I think this was... Natasha, everyone had spoke how much Katie had done. Natasha, she was going fighting her since the Olympics and a lot of time had gone past, but Natasha went in there that night, acquitted herself very well. I think round nine lost us the fight. There was only one round in the fight. If Natasha won round nine, she would have won. That's how close the yeah. fight it was. It was behind closed doors. That fight in a packed arena or what people talk at Anfield or Crow Park would be... Are you edging good. towards Anfield, aren't you? Keep hinting yeah, Anfield. Yeah, no, no, it's only for, for, for Natasha. Everyone keeps talking about it, but I do think that there's a chance for it. But I just think... Two fights, one on Crook Park and one on Anfield. Yeah, yeah. Natasha's right. improved in confidence, in her power and in her belief as well, where I feel Katie now, we're seeing him with the Natasha fight with Serrano. Is she, is she there ready for the taking? And I do believe she is if Natasha fights her. You believe, you've said already on the Toe-to-Toe the -toe podcast, which people can listen to on iTunes, that you believe she stops yeah. Katie Taylor this I, time. I, I, I think there's a, there's a huge possibility. I know I'm going to get slaughtered, but from what I've seen with Natasha going up three weight divisions there, fighting the bigger girls, hurting the bigger girls, what she's doing in sparring, and it's just the belief and the confidence in Natasha Jonas. Now, there's, she's, I'm not saying she didn't believe in herself going into the fight first time round. It was a bit of an unknown but we've been there before now as a pro and we're coming back now as a world champion, as the world number one at 154 and she has the power to trouble girls at that weight and she's got to come down and I, I just do feel like you see Serrano hurt Katie a little bit. I, I think the, 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 the egg time is running on Katie and that's no disrespect to her. I'm a huge fan of her, but I've got her back, Natasha. 
Yeah, so a champion, Natasha. Let's talk about Jessica McCaskill and another American like Clarissa Shields coming off a loss at the start of the month. Tash, how, how appealing is this? And in a sense, how can you empathise with her being in a difficult spot, which you were not long ago before your, your glorious comeback? Yeah, I think the, the thing is, when you're winning, there's lots of opportunities and doors that are open. And you can see if you stand in front of her, she 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 has got big shot, big power and big in big shot. But then we also seen with Chantel that you know she can be outboxed. And if you if you if you don't just stand in front of her, you see Katie just trading with her. You don't stand in front of her and allow her these to get these big shots off, then you know it, it, you can make it easier than than you know than than the, this fight there. Do you agree, Joe, that you think the boxing IQ could come into it for Tash? Yeah, 100%. That's the way to be, Jessica. If you stand there in a form boob mentality with her, like you say, you've got to get hit. and She's got to get hit, and it's a battle who hits hardest than most. I do think you have to use your boxing. Right? Although McCaskill at times she has shown in some fights a good boxing uh, IQ, um, but Chantal Cameron showed recently um, boxing on the back foot can beat her. But listen, that, she only knows one way, and that's forward, and you've seen that there with Katie, Chantel, and... What we see here in these fights as well, she likes a fight. Um, that'd be a good fight if it happened. Um, yeah, but like I say, at this level, all three who we've seen there, they're all the number one in the divisions. They're all the ring belt champions. And any fight against any three of them will be a hard fight. But that's what you expect when the best are fighting the best. She's a tendency, McCaskill, to draw people in, Tash. Would you be confident that you could remain detached and not get that ego engaged? Yeah, you know, I think I've got um, a, a bit more boxing, like sense about me now i think even with the the taylor fight just going back to that is that you know that that round nine and ten that it was the nicking of the rounds that 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 probably lost me the fight but then now i'm a bit more switched on to that i've had a bit more championship rounds experiences um so yeah i think again again with mccaskill i've just I've, I've had a bit more experience to to not be drawn in when when you know that's when playing into their hands and i'm i know for a hundred percent facts that joe would tell me <laughs> at the end of the round so she might draw me in for maybe yeah. you know a minute or a minute 30 of a round but i'm, I'm pretty sure the next round i won't be doing the same we thing. saw that against maria de care recently joe let's we'll finish off with with tash's wish list but what about you who do you want to see next um listen i i I've always said a couple of times this year with Natasha, if you fancy retiring, going out <laughs> of the top. Um, she puts so much into every camp. Um, I don't know how she does it. And listen, I want the biggest and the best for, for Natasha. She wants to test herself against the biggest and the best. And they're three of the best in their own weight division. So when one think, of them three. What do you think would be the biggest in terms of event? She, Well, I'd say Katie, Katie Taylor would be absolutely huge, um, especially if it's an island at Croke Park. Um, that'd be a huge there's rivalry there um, but biggest worldwide obviously I think it'd be Natasha Jonas and uh, Chrissa Shields Chrissa is what she says is the GOAT it's very hard to argue against that for what she's done and what she's achieved uh, Olympics and everything else but I just feel that they're, that they're the two um, pioneers of women's boxing as well as Katie Taylor of, of recent years to, to have pushed mm. the sport in the countries in America Britain and Ireland Absolutely Tash Name, what would it be? First go to is Katie, just for revenge and yeah. uh, you know the the history that we've got. Um, so yeah, I think you know wherever it is, I'll always. I'm not scared to go into people's back garden. Absolutely not. Well, it's great, great to see you. Well. Great to have options. Tash, Joe, thank you. That's it for Toe to Toe Extra. We'll see you again next week. Sky Sports, feel it all.